In this ukulele tutorial, we're going to go over a Robert Johnson blues ukulele lesson. And this is going to be great as a turnaround or an intro or an, even as an outro. And also, don't forget, stay around to the very end of the video because I'm going to give you a special bonus that's going to help you play this. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to Ukulele like the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and then hit that bell notification. That way you stay up to date with all the lessons and tutorials and the reviews that I do right here on my channel. So Robert Johnson was one of the early great Mississippi blues guitar players, slide guitar players, singers, and songwriters. Everything he did was classic. Classic songs have been covered by tons of different bands and artists. If you're not familiar with his music, Go check it out right now. I mean, start with something just like Crossroad Blues. It's, it's a great, great song. And so this turnaround, or like I said, or it could be used as outro or even a, an intro as well. Uh, it's gonna be in the key of F, and even if you never use it for a song and you just learn how to play it, that's gonna be pretty cool, because like I said, people are gonna really dig this and wanna learn exactly what you're doing, right? It's gonna sound like this. So that, I mean, it, just that right there is pretty cool. Um, and it's finger style. So we're gonna be using some different finger style techniques for this one. And by the way, I have a high G on this one. And the reason why I chose a high G is I think it sounds a little bit more authentic, but a low G totally works as well. So, all right, so let me play just the first measure for you. Uh, actually, the pickup in the first measure, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so it's gonna start here with the pinky on the eighth fret first string. And as I said, this is a pickup, so you're gonna start on beat four. So when I count you in, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and, and you're gonna hit it twice. As a matter of fact, for the majority of this, your pinky is just gonna stay right here on the first string, eighth fret. Then on beat one of the next measure, we're gonna do a pinch. And all I'm doing is adding my third finger here to the fourth string, eighth fret, and I'm gonna pinch, my thumb is gonna be on the fourth string, and I'm gonna use my middle finger here on the first string, and I'm gonna literally pinch up. If you wanna use your first finger, that's totally fine. I'm gonna use my middle finger, I'm gonna pinch, and then I'm gonna hit the first string again. So pinch, first string again. And you're gonna do this twice here on this 8-8, eight, eight, so it's. All right, so let's just do that, the pickup and just those few notes. Here we go, one, two, three. Then I'm gonna take and add my middle finger here on the fourth string, seventh fret. I'm gonna do the same thing, the pinch, first string, pinch, first string. Then I'm gonna add my first finger to the sixth fret of the fourth string, do the same thing. Pinch, first string, pinch, first string. And then I'm gonna slide my first finger down to five and do the same thing. All right, so that's like, the, that's like the first third of the piece. All right, so here we go. From the top with the pickup. Ready, and. Now the second half starts like this. Notice it's very similar, but it's just not quite as long. So we go back to 8-8 eight, eight here, and we do the same thing, so. Two times, but now the rest of them just get played once. So when I go to seven here, I'm just gonna do it once. So pinch, first string. Then when I go to six here, I'm gonna do it once. And then five, I'm just gonna hit it once and that's it. So just the pinch, okay? Again, that five and eight here is just the, just the pinch the second time, okay? So just the second part is. Then we're gonna have some chords, gonna sound like this. And then, a little tremolo. All right, so let's go to the chords here. This five and eight, by the way, that's on beat one, so it's one. And then you're gonna to go to a C7 chord here. And I'm just, I'm using my second finger here on the fourth string, third fret, and then my third finger on the first string, third fret, and then open third, open, second, and I'm gonna do two down strums with it, and that's beat two, so it's two and, 
hold it out for, for beat three, three, and then I'm gonna go to this. Okay, so again, C7. And then I'm gonna jump up to this chord. This is an E7 chord, and all I'm doing is I'm barring all four strings at the fourth fret, and then I'm using my third finger on the first string, fifth fret. And the reason why I'm gonna use my third finger is because here on the C7, I'm playing it, and then I'm just gonna slide it up and then add the bar, so E7. I'm gonna use a downstroke there, and this is beat four, by the way, and then I'm gonna slide the shape up one fret, so now I'm barring at the fifth fret, and my third finger's on the first string, sixth fret, and I'm gonna do that once. And that's the F7 chord, and that's the and of four. So the last two chords are four and, both down strokes. And then whenever you want, I was just doing a little tremolo, which you don't have to do, but it's just kind of cool, especially if it's the end of a song, all right? So let's play um, that second half of it. So starting on this 8-8, eight, eight. ready, and. All right, so let's go ahead now, let's do the entire thing. Remember, we start with a pickup on beat four. So one, two, three. So as I mentioned, this is something that when people hear it, it's, it's so unlike the Hawaiian style of ukulele, and it's really more like that American Mississippi blues, you know, so it's, it's, it's just really cool. People are going to dig it. So I want to do it again, though. Let's just do it a little faster, okay? So right from the top, remember, we're starting on beat four. A one, two, three... There's your Robert Johnson style blues turnaround in the key of F. Just something that you really want to get down because it is going to be impressive when you play this for people. They're going to want to learn exactly what you're doing. Now, I mentioned a special bonus. So if you want the tab for this one, because I know this can be hard to follow sometimes on video, I want to put a link below. You can go and sign up and get the tab for this one for free, and that will help you just kind of get it down a little bit better and, uh, yeah, improve your playing. So thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.